Hello everybody, and it's Rick Ashbringer, here to bring you another episode of The Adventures of Lulu Bell. Let's go! Anyway, Lulu Bell here is in a Tier 5 match on Pearl River. And one of the things I really didn't do in my review of the M3 Elite is how to use the M3 Elite efficiently. Because even though the M3 Elite is a medium tank, its makeup is more like a tank destroyer. And as a tank destroyer, it's really important that you hang back with your team and see how things un unfold during the battle. Now, I'm not really doing that here. I jumped out well in front of my team, heading down the east side. So I stop up here at the corner of this building, and I give my team time to catch up. And I keep my eyes on the road ahead, just in case enemy tanks show up. Now, I'm pretty surprised that I don't see anybody yet, and I'm kind of wondering where they all are. Only a Sherman 3 has shown up, and he ends up dropping back. So, a couple tanks on my team have moved up here, a Matilda and a T-40, and I push up behind them. Break off to the right, I'll cover this side. While the T-40 goes up the left, and the Matilda goes down the middle. Looking to see. Usually I'd expect to see somebody here, but again, I don't. Our KV-1 is calling attention to the middle, where there is a KV-1 and a BDR G1B. So I'm looking for a way to get over there. But as I push up, the VK-31H and the M7 show up, so we have to fight them. Come up over here, bring my tank around, take out that M7. Now I'm backing up, don't want to get shot by the VK-301H. And I decide I'm going to try and get around behind him. I'm hoping I can get there before he's dead and land the head into him, but it's taken out of my hands. Thinking about which way to go, I decide to keep going this way. Panzer 4 H and the Matilda 4 are going that way. Best to stick with them. You know, safety in numbers and all that. As it is, the enemy looks like they're pushing very hard in the south, but they really don't achieve a breakthrough. I've switched to APCR in case I need to use it on the KV-1. But, he gets taken out by the Churchill. Instead, I use it on the BDR G1B. He's defeated. Panzer 4H has been taken out by Artie. I slide down this little slope and take a little track damage. Ah, that's okay. Now, I thought there might be tank destroyers over there. I thought I saw fire coming from that direction. So I'm pretty much sitting behind this rock right now just to kind of see if anything gets spotted. And I've switched to AP ammunition. Nothing's been spotted, so I keep pushing up with the team. So far, Lulu Bell has been carrying her weight, but we need to cap soon. The enemy pretty much has a straight shot at our base if they keep pushing forward. So my sixth sense is not going off. That's telling me I'm not spotted and I tell the team. I'm not sure if the enemy is going to start heading back this way. I stay on cap but try and use what I can of this rock for protection. The Artie's still out there, so we don't know if it can hit any of us. 
Um, it's likely that it can. Oh, and there's the Westby. Not sure if he can get a hit on me. I'm moving, I'm moving. See if he's going to come into view here. I take a shot. Speculative. I don't know if he's there. What? There's a Panzer 3A. Put one into him, and I bounce around from him. And we cap out. Pretty good results for Lulu Bell there. Uh, three kills in a tier 5 match. Not bad. And here we got some results. Here's the detailed report. I netted 11,437 silver. I hit with four shots and I pinned on those four. And I took two hits, one bounced. For the team score, I was top in XP with 475 base XP, but kind of down there on damage with only 340. Largely, I think the XP was for the kills, particularly the two tier fives that I killed. Anyway. That's it from here. Well, you can see the second class badge and fire for effect, but that's about it. But it was a good run for Lulu Bell, and I'm hoping to bring you more and hopefully better results than even this. I know I can get them. And doing that, I hope you can see my play style and learn something from it on the M3LA. Anyway, see you around. As always, have fun and good luck out there.